I'm into winning. I've never been in, in, into, uh, you know, a lot of the awards and stuff. Um, um, but I, I like winning. Cam Newton doesn't win enough. Cam Newton doesn't win enough. He's never had back-to-back winning seasons, and he's not going to have one now. That's virtually impossible when you have his talent. Think about this. He's on a six-game losing streak. The Raiders, the dysfunctional Raiders, haven't lost six straight games this year. The Buffalo Bills, rebuilding their entire offense with a rookie quarterback, haven't lost six straight games. The perpetually dysfunctional Tampa Bay Buccaneers haven't lost six straight games. Cam Newton's on a six-game losing streak. In his career, Russell Wilson's longest losing streak is two. Andrew Luck, bad coaches, bad GMs, bad O-lines, longest losing streak is four. Big Ben, four. Aaron Rodgers once lost five, but that was his first year as a starter. Tom Brady's had a losing streak of four. Even Andy Dalton and Kirk Cousins drive me nuts. They've never lost more than four straight. (laughs) Well, he's hurt. Oh, Cam's always a victim. Oh, he's hurt. By the way, same head coach for years, continuity. He's had eight offensive Pro Bowlers the last seven years. McCaffrey will be nine. The defense has been in the top ten five of the last seven years. He's on a six-game losing streak. And by the way, they face Atlanta at home on a short week and at New Orleans. It may become an eight-game losing streak. Cam Newton doesn't win enough. But you know what? It doesn't matter because Carolina is absolutely trapped. Carolina has become the Oklahoma City Thunder of the NFL. They have an iconic superstar in a small market who's hard to coach, doesn't play well with others. He's completely flawed, but he's got that one MVP year and one trip to the Super Bowl slash finals, and they're trapped. And they're keeping him forever until the arm falls off. Carolina and Oklahoma City, small markets have never had the courage to move off the iconic, flawed superstar. Local fans would freak out in Oklahoma City. They would completely freak out. Privately, Oklahoma City will tell you they trust Paul George more late in games right now than they do Russell Westbrook. And they know Russell's hard to coach. And they know his style of basketball, which is he can't shoot, so he has to relentlessly, athletically drive to the basket, meaning more injuries, is not good long-term. They had the best of him so far. He's eroding quickly. And, and privately, Oklahoma City knows it, but publicly, they'll put their arms around him because the fans would freak out. They've already lost Durant and James Harden. And similarly, privately, I know, because I have it sourced for years, Carolina, Cam Newton drives Carolina people nuts. But they're not going to say that publicly because it's a small market and he's an icon. And just like Paul George is more trustable now late than Westbrook, Christian McCaffrey's the guy that threw a touchdown pass last night. He's more trustable now late than Cam Newton. But they're trapped. I mean, if you look at Westbrook and you look at the six or seven things that have happened to Westbrook, he can't shoot. That's undeniable. He's not a great shooter. He's a great scorer. He's aging, increasingly hurt, very expensive, tough to coach, and relies too much just on sheer athletic ability. That's Cam. In a precision analytics league, he's not really an accurate thrower. He's aging, increasingly hurt, very expensive, tough to coach, and relies too much on just sheer athletic ability. He's never gotten down the precision thing. And privately, both organizations know they're probably not a Super Bowl, probably not an NBA championship. Hard to play with, but they're trapped. They're trapped. I mean, last night was interesting because Carolina got the ball with a minute 44 left, and I'm watching with my wife, and she says, oh, oh, this reminds me of Brady and Ben the other day. I said, no, it doesn't. Carolina has no shot to score. This is not against that Saints defense. (laughs) You're not going to do it. And they got one first down. And this is the reality of it. This happens all the time in sports, and we never talk about this stuff is that certain markets restrict you. And you get to one of these Buffaloes and Carolina and Green Bay and Oklahoma City, and you get one of these Favre and Cam and Westbrooks, you are trapped. You are trapped. You cannot get rid of him. And that Russell Westbrook's going to be a Hall of Famer. I'd pay money to watch Russell Westbrook. I think he's fantastic. But now he's past his prime. Now he's expensive, hurt, tough to play with, hard to coach. And Paul George, I trust more down the stretch. And Cam Newton now is hurt more, expensive more, 
had more than enough support. Well, he's hurt. You notice when you rely on athletic ability, when you rely throwing the ball more on, you know, mechanically arm than legs, yes, it's hard for that shoulder injury to heal. Nothing against Cam, but this throw in the fourth quarter was indicative of his night on the final drive. By the way, you criticize Westbrook, OKC fans go nuts. You can criticize Durant. I can criticize LeBron. My Twitter doesn't explode. You, you, I can criticize Brady. I can criticize Rodgers. I can criticize... Le you criticize Cam. People go nuts. OKC and Carolina, they're trapped. Westbrook and Cam are going to be there until the arms fall off.